We are doing a very important update for MicroStrategy today. We'll cover the four hour, one day, and the weekly chart. I'm making this video due to the fact that consolidation on Bitcoin could be near its end. Therefore, if we see an all time high in Bitcoin, MicroStrategy will move very, very hard and quickly. So I'm warning everybody as the charts is indicating that we are near a breakout signal. We're going to start with the four hour chart. As you see, the resistance, the key resistance is at $1,800. We are trading at almost $1,700. So we're $100 away from that resistance level. It is critical. We have been going up since here the 1st of May at a bottom of 1000 and we have gone $700 up in just a few days. So in almost a month, let's say, but it's a nice recovery and we're aiming towards that 1,800 resistance level. As we saw earlier in April, we broke above that level and got rejected at 2000 and came back, but that was a matter of a few days. So very low trading activity. And therefore, if we break here 1,800 with a very strong volume, we could blast off above $2,000 fairly quickly. The other possibility is that we break and we try it sideways shortly at 2,000 before moving higher. As I indicated, this movement is very, very critical for micro strategy. We are in a wedge type of ascending triangle here where we have gone up to 2000, corrected to 1000, a 50% retracement that we see a lot in um, crypto, mainly because of the high volatility. But as micro strategy is linked to Bitcoin and it's way more volatile than Bitcoin. It's normal to see that type of volatility with MicroStrategy. You need to be aware of that. It's not going to stop. It's going to be the same throughout the bull run and the exponential phase of Bitcoin. But also if we get a bear market, it's going to correct as hard as Bitcoin, actually even more than Bitcoin. So. We will cover that eventually when we get toppy or when we think that the exponential phase of Bitcoin is, is done. We should, at that time, think about taking profits, change the strategy, and see if we keep the stock or we sell completely, get into cash, and use another asset while MicroStrategy corrects. And we will discuss, we will discuss this strategy later on. But for now, as I indicated, 1,800 is the key resistance level. The next one is 2,000. And after that, we don't know what's going to happen because we'll be in, in price discovery and the stock will follow Bitcoin, but in a more explosive way. The other key point to look at is that we have diminishing uh, volumes recently that were associated with this correction. And now we came back with stabilized volume here. So we could see this type of volumes come back for the breakout fairly soon. Just get ready as this thing, this movement is coming and I would not be surprised if we break to the upside. On the weekly chart, we see that structure where we see the 50% retracement. As I indicated, this is a healthy correction. We had to have it in order to aim higher. And as you see here, the trend line indicates potentials of 2200 and beyond once we break that $800 and $2,000 level. MicroStrategy is a stock that is important in my portfolio. It's a big chunk of my portfolio. It has performed extremely well. It's been an easy trade, volatile, but an easy trade because I have a lot of conviction on Bitcoin. 
if you do not have conviction on Bitcoin, it's very difficult to invest in stocks linked to Bitcoin and also in crypto in general. You have to have that conviction for yourself in order to avoid making trading mistakes. I limit my trades. I don't do tons of trades. I invest for the long term. Okay, indicated many times I have bought Bitcoin and I have not sold one single sat and it has been more than one year of investing. So same thing for the micro strategy stocks. I have always bought and accumulated as much as much as I could, but I have not sold shares. If you know the history of Bitcoin, if you know about cycles, this is the worst time to be fancy and trying to buy and then buy at the lows and try to sell at the highs. I think it's a bad idea because when Bitcoin decides to move, it moves hard. And if you miss those one, two, three or four big days in the bull run, you're going to miss on huge percentage gains and chasing Bitcoin is not a good idea. It's going to be extremely difficult. I have made my positions. I'm sticking with them until the end of the bull run or until we start to see signals that we are at the end of the bull run. We have dates. If we study the cycles previously, we have potential dates where we have could have you know, a big correction on the start of a correction based on, on what happened before. But as this year, 2024, since January, ETFs have been contributing to the upside of Bitcoin. If that buying pressure continues post the potential date of, you know, the start of the bear market from previous data, if the buying continues, it's going to be two options either the bear market will happen but it could be way less volatile meaning that we correct way less because there's a lot of buying going on or we don't see a bear market at all and we continue to push higher because people will continue to buy bitcoin every single week every single month every single day the buying and selling will dictate what will happen for the next cycles of Bitcoin. That's the first signal. The other signal will, will happen when, if we break $1,000 per coin on Bitcoin. Because if we break above $1,000 per Bitcoin, we are getting into numbers that will trigger action from many people that have not taken action related to Bitcoin because they're going to take it seriously. Okay, the coin is above $1,000 now. This thing is for real and they will start buying at that stage. And if it continues to go higher, it's going to be a frenzy of buying happening. And for those who know how Bitcoin works, we already are at low supplies if there's some kind of search or bank run if you if you want to call it that but a, an inverse bank run you know fomo fear of missing out if people jump and start buying bitcoin like crazy it's going to be impressive the type of returns we can get because we have never seen an asset like bitcoin who's extremely scarce who cannot be inflated, you cannot print more coins. Therefore, if the people who buy the coins do not put them back in the market to sell, it's going to be less and less and less supply. And then who will decide the price of Bitcoin at that stage is whoever's selling the coins. And if they decide that they are going to sell above 100,000, above 200,000, above 3,000, $300,000, well, the price will go there because if there's buying, the sellers are in control of the price because of the low supply. 
So you have to be aware of that. That's why I don't, I'm not cute in, in my trading of Bitcoin. I just buy, spot, hold. I bought ETFs and hold, and I buy MicroStrategy and hold. That's what I've been doing. So if we get an extended cycle or a very long bullish cycle, then I will be there throughout until I get signals that we're going to get the beginning of a correction. If those signals are not given, then we just hold and accumulate potential gains as much as we can. So I hope you see how you need to be looking at this. If you want to day trade MicroStrategy or Bitcoin, go ahead, but it's not my cup of tea and I think it's very difficult. The other thing, I highly discourage everybody to trade with leverage. It is extremely difficult and chances of getting liquidated are high to the upside and to the downside, both ways. The easiest way to trade Bitcoin, it's either spot, buy and hold, microstrategy, buy and hold, ETFs, buy and hold. That's the safest way and you should stick to it until we get signals that indicate otherwise. So continue watching the updates. I think the potential here for MicroStrategy is extremely high. How high will we go? I don't know, but I know we're going higher and that's my strategy. I want to maximize my gains. If we get 2x, 3x, 4x, fine. I'm gonna maximize the amount that I'm getting, but that comes with the conviction that Bitcoin is a real thing, it's gonna go higher, and the price should follow what I have researched. Be patient, stay calm, do not get too excited if we get those huge green candles fairly soon. Just be aware of what to expect and you should be fine.